Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And today we've got a bag of goodies to show you. We've got this bag here, which I bought. There's a lot of uh, little knickknacks in there that I needed. And uh, I'll show you what I got. And I've also got another one, but this one we'll do another time. So let's get stuck into this one and see how we go. Okay, so what have we got first? Let's pull this one out. I just wanted a quick knife sharpener and I decided to get this one because I've got the stones, but I don't have a leather one. And this one's got two grades of leather, and that's it there. Looks like it's been used. But anyway, let's get a knife and see how it works. I'm using my multi-tool knife. I did a review on this a few weeks ago, and the review will be on your right. It's been a good knife, actually. All right, so I suppose that you would you could do it this way. And then you've got the finer part. Or you can just do it this way. Get the rougher one. What do you reckon? I don't know. I'll have to test it out and do a proper sharpening of it and, uh, and get back to you for it. But... Uh, yeah, and that's basically it. All right, put that aside. What's next? Oh, okay. I got one of these for my uh, sunglasses or my glasses in the car. And I like this one because it's got it's got two sections. Obviously, put this on your sunshade, and, uh, and you just pop your glasses in there. I haven't got any glasses on me to show you actually, but uh, well, you get the, the idea. It is all plastic. It's got the carbon fibre look, but it's not carbon fibre. It's all plastic. Very light. I'm just hoping that it'll last, that's all. It seems okay. I mean, if you don't play around with it too much, it, it should last you. And the uh, spring seems to be pretty good. Yeah, so it seems to be okay. Hopefully it does the job. That's what I bought it for. Next, what have we got next? Oh yes, I've got one of these, and uh, these are glow in the dark, and the reason why I bought one of these is to put on the ends of my fishing rod. You know, if it starts biting, and, you, and the fishing rod is uh, doesn't have a light colour on the end of it, on the tip, you don't see it going up and down, so I bought some of this so I could put on the edge of my fishing rods. What do you think? Have you guys used one of these before? It's like a glow in the dark. Yeah, hopefully it's right. It seems a little bit thick though, you know. I want it to be a little bit thinner so it could go around the tip of the rod. Because as you know, the fishing rods in the tip of it is not very thick. All right, let's see how we go. All right, so I got one of these. These are scissors for fishing. Let's open it up and see what it's all about. My trusted little, little knife. I did a review on this one as well. Link will be in the top right if you want to check it out. But I use it all the time for these unboxings. The box seems a little bit creased, doesn't it? Well, it's good that it comes with a little case, a little plastic case, a hook here for your belt or an attachment. Let's pull it. So obviously just plastic. And there's the scissors. You can clip that to your belt, to your pants, or to your tackle box. And there's another section here that you can clip onto your, I don't know, put another clip on it, I guess. Seems to be pretty, pretty strong. The actual scissors feel really good. This rubberized handle feels good quality. And you've got all these little, like, strippers here. I don't know if you can see that. They're like uh, wire strippers. You've got like a bottle opener here, or a can opener. Yeah, so it seems to be okay. Let's see if it'll cut this. Oh, no problems at all. Very sharp. Let's put it back in its house. Seems to be pretty well secured in there. Yeah, great. Oh, you got another little, like a screwdriver here. It's like a little multi-tool scissors. All right, on with the next one. Okay, so I've got some of these. Carabiner, 
seems to be pretty strong and good and durable. Yeah, so I wanted a couple of these. I didn't have one of these. So I could put something like this on it, or keys, or anything you want, really. And I've got a couple more here, so you can hang things off your tent, or your bag, your backpack, whatever you want. i got one black one there. I like black. Well, that's it. Okay, so, carabiners. What else? Ah, oh, this is a uh, phone holder for a tripod. Seems to be okay. Alright, so I just happen to have a tripod here. Let's see if it'll actually go in. Fits nicely. Let's see if this works. Oops, not that one. This one. Yeah. Seems to be good. Oh, you got one of these as well, so you can do a portrait. Right, let's try it with the phone. And it fits nicely. Good stuff. Seems to be holding all right. I mean, don't expect anything too flash. They're all pretty cheap products here. All right, so I'm happy with that. That'll stay there because that's what I got it for. And it seems to be nicely padded as well. It's rubber on both sides here. And this is like a uh, felt here. And it's also got a uh, three-quarter screw here as well. So you can mount it on tripods this way, I guess. Last but not least, I always wanted to get one of these. I'll show you what it is. Can you guess what it is? It's a drill bit. All right, so let's demonstrate this. So I've got my trusted Makita drill here. And you put this part in. And you put your drill bit in here. So say you've got a uh, an angle which you can't get your drill in. Or at least this way you can get the drill in. And as you can see, works well. That's what I wanted. So it does the job. So that's it that's everything so i'm not going to go back on top i'm just going to let you know that uh, i'll try and put links to all these and i'll do the unboxing of the other one pretty soon and thanks for joining us if you've come this far in the video please like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it it helps me grow the channel and let me know down below if you've got something in mind that you want me to uh, review and i'll review it catch you on our next one guys bye